Hi everyone, this is Jessica and today we're going to be working on a winter flex tangle. Um, what you need is the printouts I've included, something to color with, um, scissors to cut it out, and then this is something to score with, so be it a ruler or a plastic knife just to give it creases, um, and then glue. So let's get started. The next step is coloring. So you can encourage clients, if they would like, to have one color per side to look for similar prints, such as the snowman. This helps them with their visual scanning. And color it all one color. Or they can just scribble across the page. So I will try that and do one color per print. I will get this colored and join you soon. So as you can see, the snowman pieces are all across the top and I've done one color. So I'm gonna choose a different color for the snowflakes and on and on and I'll show you when I'm done. So now that I've colored each of my sections a different color, I'm ready to score the lines. So you wanna have the clients hold a ruler along this one that says score and fold along the vertical lines. You can take anything like the back of a card sheet or the back of a plastic knife, just something that'll help to create a crease. And you want to do it along all these vertical lines. And then after you go all the way across, you want to do them along the diagonal lines. Now this is really great for encouraging bilateral coordination because you got to hold one in place and use your hands to move. So I'm going to score the rest of them and get back to you. So now after I've scored them all, see the paper is already starting to bend, we're gonna wanna cut it all along this black line. So I'm gonna give it a trim and show you what's next. So now that I have my shape completely cut out, I'm gonna start folding it back along all the lines we, we did all the scoring. So you just want to make sure that you get some good creases along your score lines, which is just along the diagonals. You'll fold it both ways. And then make sure to get them along the verticals. And just really have the clients help give it a good crease. I'm gonna press it so it almost starts to curl up on its own. Now do it along the vertical lines too. You almost wanna make sure the tops kind of match. So they line up well. And just really give them a good crease. Make sure the tops line up. Crease it down. Okay, and after I give all of my score lines a fold, I will come and show you what's next. Okay, after everything is kind of folded up, what you want to do is turn it around and kind of fold, this part is a little tricky, but it kind of comes together. You fold one end to the other, like so. And then we're gonna apply glue where it says glue. And it's gonna kind of come together like a chain, if you can see. So let me glue those parts down and I'll show you how to join it together. Here I am applying glue to each of the segments. It says glue. And then we're gonna get a three-dimensional shape. So we hold it together and glue it down here. Glue it down here. It should kind of just come together with all the folding that we've done. It kind of easily comes together. And there we go. So we have this three-dimensional shape. It's kind of triangular or diamond shape. And the last part is to fold it together. So let me join that. Now once you fold everything up, the last part is to apply glue here and to insert it in to here. So let me do that. So I actually ended up putting tape over mine because the glue wasn't sticking. But here is the finished product. I'm gonna show you. And they can just keep flipping for the different prints. And this is very nice. It's visually appealing for our clients. It's kind of like a fidget tactile toy. 
and it's just very endless and calming. So I hope that you're able to enjoy this together. Thanks. Bye.